here with Barry, and uh, gosh, just when you think it can't get any more sillier, um, President uh, Magufuli, if I pronounced it right, Magufuli of Tanzania exposes that the COVID-19 test kits are completely faulty. Uh, this is great. Um, it actually, uh, uh, I'm going to let you watch this. It's actually quite comical, but even now some political people, uh, it just can't be swept under the rug anymore, but he has a, one of the nation's fruits, uh, papa, which is a papaya, I believe, is uh, <laughs> testing positive for COVID-19, and so are some of his uh, sheep. I guess there's a little, yeah, a lot of sheep I know are kind of hung up on uh, testing uh, with the COVID-19. But anyway, this is a sheep of a different breed. Okay, this is over out in uh, Tanzania, okay? So have a listen, this is great. Any mara, hu ugonjwa utaisha, utapita, tunapata changamoto, lakini tutazitatua, ninawasiliana madagasta, na wamesha andika barua, wanasema kuna dawa zimepatikana kule, tutatuma andege kule na dawa zile zitaretwa pia, ili wa Tanzania nao waweze kufaidika nayo. Kwa hiyo sisi serikali tuko tunafanya kazi usiku na mchana. Tulichukua sampo za mbuzi, tukachukua sampo za kondo, tukachukua sampo za papai, tukachukua pa sampo za oili ya gari na sampo za vitu vingine mbalimbali tukavipeleka pale kwenye maabara bila wao kujua. Na tukazipa majina. Sampo ya oili kwa mfano iliyotoka kwa gari Tulilipa jina ya Jabiri Hamza mwenye miaka 30 Mel ile ilileta negative Tulipopeleka sampo ya Fenesi ambalo tuliipa jina la Sara Samuel miaka 45 female Matokeo yake yalikuwa inconclusive Tulipopeleka sampo Ya papai Tukaipa jina Elizabeth Anne Miaka 26 Female Papai lile lilikuwa positive Kwamba lina corona Mana yake maji mle ndani Zilizotolewa mle kwenye papai Ni positive Tulipeleka sampo ya ndege kware Imekuwa positive Tumepeleka sungura ikawa identitaminant. Tumechukua mbuzi akawa positive. Tukachukua kondo akawa negative. Na kadhalika na kadhalika. Sasa ukishaona Umepeleka sampu, ukamuambia huyu ni binadamu, harafu ikaji ikaletewa positive, kwambi na corona. Mana yake labda mapapai yote yale nayo yangewekewa isolation. Ukipeleka mbuzi za sampo, nazo zikawa positive. Mana yake mbuzi wote tulionao hapa labda by assumption. Au huyo mbuzi walio perekwa, nao walitakiwa wapewe kwenye isolation. Ukipeleka fenesi, likawa positive. Makamasi kamasi yake yale. Ambaro tulia hapa jina la Elizabeth Mana yake Elizabeth Fenesi Na yu mafenesi ya ditakiwa ya wekwe isolation Kwa hiyo ukisha gundua kitu hiki Lazima ujue kuna mchezo wa ajabu Unafanyika kwenye vipimo hivi Kwamba kuna mambo ya ajabu yanafanywa katika nchi hii Eitha wahusika wa laboratory Ile wamenunuliwa na mabeberu Eitha hawana utaramu which is not true kwa sababu maabara hii imetumika sana kwenye magonjwa mengine either dire sample zinazoletwa kwa sababu mpaka reagent zinatoka nje paka zile swap zile vipamba vya kuweka kwenye nani mle vinatoka nje kwa hiyo lazima kuna kitu fulani kinafanya na kama mapapai nayo yanaonekana ni positive yana corona Basi, WHO inatakiwa ifanye kazi kubwa katika haya. Na kama mbuzi nao wana corona, 
na kama hawajajua hii corona ina affect binadamu au ina affect mbuzi au ina affect hata miti basi wanasayansi hatujafanya cha kutosha katika hili kwa hiyo kuna watu kutokana na extrapolation ya hizi information nilizo nazo lazima kuna watu wameambiwa positive wakati si wagonjwa wa corona na inawezekana wengine wakafa kwa hofu papa ile lipo halijafa lipo tu linaiva mbuzi yule yupo tu wala hajafa fenesi lile lipo labda lije lioze tu baadaye ya muda wake lakini yale ni positive na vitu vingine kwa hiyo natoa wito kwa watanzania msiwe na hofu na hasa kwa wale ambao bado hawajachoka hata hajaumia kwa nini uwe na hofu Mbona mafua yamekuwepo ila haya ni mafua ambayo yako advanced nayo yatapita Lakini kile kitendo cha kukuta hata papa ila kula nalo lina corona mule ndani wala si kwa ganda kwa juu kwa sababu zile sample zingechukuliwa kwa juu Wangesema labda aliyerigusa ana corona Lakini wametoa with the specifications kabisa vizuri wakachoma ndani mle wakaingiza kile kiswapo Wangeweza wakasema huyu mbuzi labda ali, alishikwa akaingiwa ndani na mtu akampa corona. Lakini mbuzi awe na corona. Fenesi liwe na corona. Papai liwe na corona. Ndege kama kwale awe na corona. Ni lazima pawe na maswali mengi ya kujiuliza. Sisi kama wa Tanzania lakini na dunia na Afrika nzima lazima ijiulize vizuri katika tatizo hili la ugonjwa kwamba kuna kitu fulani ambacho inawezekana hakijaeleweka kwa watanzania na kwa wanasayansi lakini inawezekana hata duniani hawajakielewa lakini natoa wito kwa wale wanaotumia vifaa hivi hasa katika Afrika wachukue sampo za wanyama wachukue sampo hata za kitu kichochote hata liukuta hata mjusi wachukue anything watakuja kuprove haya ninayo yazungumza mimi ni mwanasayansi ninajua ninachokizungumza na kazi hizi zimefanywa na watu ambao they are really qualified kwa hiyo nairudia kuwaeleza wa Tanzania bado tuko kwenye elementary stage tusipaniki tuendelee kuchapa kazi uzalishaji uendelee maradufu zaidi tusitishane na wanasiasa waache kuitumia hii kama agenda haitawasaidia lakini wa Tanzania tusikubali kutumika. Corona haiko Tanzania tu, iko kila mahali, iko Marekani, iko Uingereza, iko Uholanzi, iko Sweden, iko everywhere, iko Japan, iko China, iko ta... kila mahali. Sasa wasitumie hii kama base. Kwanza huu ugonjwa wala haukuanzia hapa. Wa Tanzania tusimame imara, tushikamane, tumtangulize Mungu wetu, tuchape kazi tusiogopane tusaidiane ili tatizo hili tuondoke na wale wanaoendelea kufanya mbinu za kijinga jinga kama hizi ambazo nimezisema kwamba papai nalo lina corona kwale ana corona mbuzi ana corona ni lazima katika scientific approaches watu lazima wafanye kazi ni waombe wataalamu wetu vyo vikuu soko ine university of dar es salaam vyo vyote nemri na kadhalika huu ndio wakati wa kufanya kazi na kuonyesha integrity zenu za kufanya research kwa sasa sina uhakika sana na mkuu wa maabara hii kama nafahamu kwa sababu hata tulipokuwa tunapeleka zile sampo hata kumjulisha yeye amepima akijua ni sampo za binadamu lakini kwa nini na yeye hakufanya trial kwenye siku za nyuma ili kujustify kile kifaa anachokitumia kwa hiyo kuna mambo mengi ya ovyo ovyo humu ndani So just when you think you can't get any sillier, eh? now fruits that are testing positive. Listen, uh, let's not kid ourselves and make no mistake about this. Mark my words on this. The divide's growing stronger, and you, when you have these people just trapped in fear, nothing, but nothing seems to make any sense to them other than uh, additional fear. Mark my words, this is going to be a problem. 
because they are going to support ridiculous rules about additional curfew, about longer lockdowns. They're already talking about reinstating it September, October, when flu season begins next year. We already are hearing from uh, people we know. It's not next year's flu. It's 2022. It's going to be turned up. It's going to be, you know, considerably stronger, but they're going to be using that as a weapon. And here I am two years earlier. I'm saying this coming up year won't be bad. It's the year after this one you're going to see is going to be bad. But again, it's all been hoaxed. I don't know any other way this is going to turn out except of a greater divide and more and more violence very quickly accelerating. Because while <clears throat> part of what's going to accelerate it, and I don't think you've really thought about it, but I'm, I'm not implying that this is a negative or a positive. I'm implying this is a necessary step that we must go through. And what's accelerating it is maybe on a positive context because there's no question there's more and more and more and more people that are finally just saying this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm starting to sound like a fool and are coming on to the questioning side, which is good. But again, as the as both sides kind of one grows a little bit while one, you know, has a little bit less, but is still greatly outnumbered. As that levels off, that's that's where you're going to see more and more violence, and it's it's switching quickly. So I've said that enough times. Uh, I'm giving you enough credit, though. I think you all know how to take care of yourselves, and most of our subscribers are a little bit wit-savvy in that direction. But listen... People, when it comes to a point where, as adults, we're not allowed to go out of our houses, we're not allowed to open our own businesses, we're not allowed to extend curfews, we're not allowed any sizable public meeting, we are at their total mercy in terms of any form of communication and natural resource, and it's all being weaponized to split us, divide us, and to be used against us to a degree. At this point, people that can't recognize something feels wrong, pardon the pun, because that, that is why three years ago we named this website, because we knew what was coming in 2020. Uh, we've had hundreds of people saying, hey, excellent name. We knew that a, a while ago. Yeah, it's the perfect title for everybody. All different languages. The next video I'll be doing comes out of Mongolia. Kind of, uh, Nice fellow named Robert sent me up some excellent video about an example I want to show you of a, a woman who is doing research, and part of it is uh, very similar to our four-person uh, research, uh, the mentors, you know, our little research team that we've had together for, uh, for quite some time now, and that's one phase of it, so it makes a great, great example of it, but listen, by now people can't see that they're being played like a card and they have no common sense other the only driving motivating factor for them is the fear that they're hopelessly trapped in start recognizing where this is going because the only thing that's changing is the amount of time you have to be best prepared for it and i'm not i'm not definitely i'm not an armageddon kind of fellow whatsoever the shrewd will always survive. It's just the cannon fodder always remains for the masses. I mean, history's got my back on that one. Anyway, I'm going on to the next video because it's an overcast day, but it's great to be outside again, even though I hope there's not too much wind. So, Barry and DR, a big thanks is going out to everybody supplying this information, and we'll get going on the next video now. An excellent example of what apophatic research or a phase of it is all about. Till next time, it's old Barry.